Let's start with Dallas Mavericks CEO telling us why diversity is the most important part of hiring. Uh, because I know the business case for diversity and you have to have a diverse group of people around the table uh, if you really want to be as successful as you can be. And so, so we took that on. So we laid out that vision, laid out a set of values, and then I had one-on-one -on -one with all the employees and then made some leadership changes. And wow. so now we have almost 50% women in leadership and 47% people of color. And so wow. diversity, wow. diversity matters. It matters. It, so okay, your, so your like the, goal the, was the to set the NBA male. standard Good luck. for Good leadership. Luck. For Good luck. I remember during George Floyd, there were some companies like Nike was one of them, right? Where it's like, if you were the white middle-aged guy, forget about it. Like I'm all for diversity, but real diversity. I do think that people from different places, having different sexes, all of this, different experiences, right? Different people that have different perspectives are really important. The problem that we have with diversity nowadays is that it's not really diversity. Let's be honest. You may say, oh, I've got you know, two black people, a Hispanic person, a gay person, a trans person, whatever. I got three women. But if they all think alike, you don't have diversity. Hate to break it to you guys. Zip, zero, nada. Because it's woke ideology where you all think the same way and you all march in step. So diversity just went out the window. The diversity that you should want and need as a workplace is gone. Again, America was built on this thesis of let's be a meritocracy. It's what we've always been. You work hard. And you know what? With a little bit of luck, because, yeah, it takes a little bit of luck and it takes some optimism and this, and that, and the other. It also takes getting up early, going to work, all the things that, you know, look, I'm sorry, you, you got to do. And, and, and this is what does make us a success. Anyway, Mark Cuban coming to her defense. Let, let's look at this little um, Twitter exchange. Uh, this, is, this is really, well, this, this is good. Let, let's, I, I, I'm going to ask Drew to go to the other Twitter exchange. I'm going to come back to this one because this is Elon and, and Mark, and it's especially, especially funny. But before we get that, I, I want to show you this. So <laughs> there, there was this back and forth between Mark Cuban and, and the woman who runs, she's the EEOC commissioner, right? So she's, she's the lady who was put in place in 2020. I guess that was when Trump was still there. I don't think she's going to have a job much longer because she's taking him on. Andrea Lucas, though, I'll just read this to you. Mark Cuban went on Twitter and he said, I've never hired anyone based exclusively on race, gender, religion. I only hire the person that will put my business in the best position to succeed. Okay, win, win, win. And yes, he goes on, he like cuts his own argument in half. Race and gender can be part of the equation. I view diversity as a competitive advantage. So that's interesting. It kind of gets to what I was saying in that, you know, if you have people from different experiences, that that can be helpful so long as they think differently, right? But anyway, he just got totally smacked down by this woman, Andrea Lucas, who's the EEOC commissioner. Mark Cuban, EEOC commissioner here. Unfortunately, you're dead wrong. On black letter title uh, seven law, as a general rule, race and sex can't even be a motivating factor nor plus factor, tiebreaker, or tipping point. It's important employers understand the ground rules here. Ooh, like I said, I don't think she's going to be working at the EEOC too much longer. But good for Andrea. Totally smacking down Mark Cuban in an epic way. As of this morning, this was getting a lot of traction. I think you can see 9,700 views. Let's go, though, to what's actually hilariously funny. Because... <laughs> Elon Musk, just saying the obvious. Okay, Mark, you love diversity so much. Then uh, let's see some real diversity. He said, Mark Cuban, let me help you out and give you my thoughts on DEI. One, diversity, good businesses look where others don't. To find the best employees that will put your business in the best possible position to succeed. You may not agree, but I take that as a given. There are people of various blah, blah, blah. He goes on to tout DEI. And... Um, Elon writes back, cool. So when should we expect to see a short white Asian woman on the Mavs? <laughs> you know, the Dallas Mavericks. Or the woman we just heard from, she's like, I'm all about diversity. It's like, okay, yeah. Where are your short white Asian, maybe let's go with trans, right? Like, I don't know. Like if it's not gonna win the game, then why would you put them on the team? Are there any limits here? There are, according to the Supreme Court. 
I just told Harvard, you know what, guys, you can't do that. I mean, they'll all come up with workarounds, of course, 